Okay, hello and welcome, whoever you are, to my uh, short destiny video. Um, putting a bit of voiceover on this on this video, just uh, because I've recently downloaded the Share Factory app, and uh, just want to give it a bit of a go, really. So we're on the moon, and I'm basically just doing some really easy side missions. Not actually doing anything in particular because I've got the the bounty for doing six side missions on the moon and I currently want to trade in those bounties at the tower later on so yeah I am just doing a really easy um, a really easy side mission here um, scanning the structure so found some helium coils there good for upgrading I need those upgrading stuff currently using the hand cannon which was uh, given to me by Eris uh, from the dark below downloadable content I don't normally use a hand cannon but this is actually quite good it's quite powerful so I'm going to concentrate on upgrading this for a while uh, so yeah on the um, on the sparrow now and the screen goes dark we might want to check this out. and we might want to check this out as Peter Denkelman says because we have got a public event which has spawned at the Hellmouth so I'm going to dispatch these enemies here and then I'm going to make my way over to that because I have another bounty, active bounty which um, is telling me if I get three gold stars in a in a row, well not in a row, but I just need three gold star events on a public on a public event. Fat Pikey there on the left has already joined, which is good because these are quite difficult. These ones, um, these are kill the target ones, and yeah, they are quite uh, difficult if you're doing it on your own and you're not super powered up. Yeah, it takes a while because, as you can see on the left there, they have nine checkpoints to reach before they get to safety. He's already at two now already. So, um, yeah, well obviously if he gets to checkpoint nine, he's won. Uh, if we kill him before that, we win. You can see he's using the blue arc shield. I don't actually have any weapons which are equipped with arc, arc uh, damage on them. If I did, then I'd be able to take him down pretty quickly, or at least take his shield down pretty quickly, using the Blade Dancer ability there, which is awesome. I've also got the melee uh, blindness perk, so if I get meleeed, I go invisible for a few seconds, which is really, really handy, because, um, yeah, when you're low on health, you can literally be in the middle of a battle, and... Uh, not worry about getting hit because they can't see you and it's not this crappy invisibility where they can still see you kind of they literally cannot see you at all which is proper invisibility send a few hand cannons in and he's down and that's a gold tier achievement there and there you can see the bounty on the right there one for all that's been unlocked so i'm just going to clear out a few stragglers here and uh, yeah, there's a hive ship there, which is spawning. So there's lovely uh, effects there in the background of the debris dropping down, and a few enemies as well. I've crouched down there, so I've gone invisible. There's the moon. There's the earth. Sorry, not the moon. I'm on the moon. Looking gorgeous gives a great sense of scope this game of uh, you know really you can really feel that you're on another planet um, when you move around so that's the last one of the side missions I believe that's scanned and that's patrol the moon done six side missions completed so there's no need for me to be here now so me and Peter we're gonna go back up into orbit and then we're going to make a jolly old way down to the tower and we're going to redeem 
those beautiful bounties there. Still got a couple there on the, on the left there as you can see, which need to be done. Do those another time. Go into the tower. Launch that. Now I've noticed since the update, um, since the since I'm not sure if it was the update from Tuesday, but it may have been before this. But these loading screens seem to sometimes they seem to take forever. Uh, I should be my ship should be launching into a warp, uh, a warp now, but I've still got the loading icon on the bottom right there for some reason. I don't quite know why that is. It might just be lots and lots of people trying to uh, go to the tower at one particular time. I don't really know, but um, yeah, for some reason it seemed, it never seemed to take this long before. My ship's going to go any minute now. There we go. The icon has disappeared. And there we go. Into warp. Into the warp tunnel. Visuals for this look really good. Really, really good. A lot of, uh, a lot of reviews initially for this game were quite bad. But um, since they've done a few updates... Um, it's got a massive fan base now. There is a huge fan base for Destiny now. I know because I've been on onto forums and I've seen how passionate people are about it, and I am too because it is just amazing game. Really, really good game. Um, beautifully designed for co-op, for getting friends in there, dropping in and out, doing different missions and stuff. Um, really good. The strikes are really good. Yes, they are the same thing every time, but if you're looking to grind, if you're looking to update your armor and your weapons, um, it's great. Yeah, it's really good. And there we go. We are back on Earth. The only thing I would say is that the, um, the raid in this, the Vault of Glass, I wish Bungie had, had put it on for uh, matchmaking because... You know, to get six people on it all at one time and then do it, and apparently it takes quite a long time as well. You guys out there who've done it will obviously know, but um, yeah, I mean, you can obviously save it and uh, come back to it again, but I just wish they'd have done uh, matchmaking. Strange coin there from the um, cryptograph guy, whatever his name is. So we're going to go and see. Uh, Gonna go and see Xander 9940, and we're gonna trade in all of these bounties. Now I've had sometimes if you trade more than four at one time, you get an exotic bounty. Uh, didn't get it that time. Got um, helium filaments and a mote of light there. Now as you can see, I've got a crap load of upgrades now, as my jackknife 3.2. I inhaled eight times lethal dose. Tasted like a spring picnic. Good respirator. So, yep, there we go. There's, uh, I'll get some great sights there for the hand cannon. We've got some damage upgrade. That's always, always good. Extended mag, that's good. And the last two are still on their way to upgrade. So the heavy machine gun, that's a really good upgrade, perfect balance. Look at the stability increase uh, to take that recoil really, really low, which is good because the last thing you want to be wasting is heavy machine gun bullets that are just going everywhere on a bad recoil. So, yeah. I didn't unlock that one there on the, on the right for some reason. I don't know why I did do that, but... That'll be there for next time. So we're just going to break down a couple of crappy ones there. And that's it. So that's the end now. Um, I'm just going to basically go up onto the roof. Sometimes I like to come down here in the tower. It's nice just to sit and watch, really enjoy the scenery. As I said earlier, it looks really, really good. Uh, there's a traveller in the background there. Anyway, yeah, this is the end of the video. Thanks very much for watching. And uh, I shall be uploading more in the future.